Hello, and welcome to this chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help you get familiar with using Corel's Video Studio Pro X2. In today's short lesson, we're going to continue with the basics of using the Movie Wizard in Video Studio Pro X2. In a recent lesson, I showed you both how to use the DV to DVD Wizard and importing and organizing your content using this Movie Wizard. This time, we'll continue in the Movie Wizard by adding themes, titling, and chapters, and end up at the burn your own DVD screen. Remember, Video Studio makes creating videos easy, fast, and fun. Not only does it allow you several entry points depending upon your expertise or project needs, but it is a complete turnkey solution in that it starts with obtaining and organizing your content and ends with actually creating your final output, whether that be a video file, a standard definition or high definition DVD, a small file designated for handheld devices, or a file for uploading to YouTube. In between, do basic content edits. Add one of the many included themes that have an introduction, music, and a conclusion. Then add optional, editable, title and chapter windows. And this is all within the wizards. Wait till you see what we can do in the Video Studio Editor. But that's for a future lesson. In the meantime, let's get started. We ended our last lesson with our content imported into our movie wizard in this view. Let's hit next and see what our choices are. This view of the Movie Wizard is where we can add an appropriate theme to our movie. A theme includes an introduction, a music track, transitions between your scenes, and a conclusion. There is a nice collection of themes included with Video Studio, both in standard definition and high definition formats. There are even some that if you want to use to create image-only slideshows. Since we are using HD clips, let's see what's available in the HD movie collection. Since my movie is about the hot air balloon trip the family and I took last summer, let's select this travel choice here. After my choice is made, I can still make some changes. For example, the blue lines in the playback area designate where text is located that I could change. If I have plans to use the Video Studio Editor later, I could edit it there too, but let's do it here. When I move the playback head to each of the blue lines, the title entry area allows me to make some changes, which I'll do. I simply double click on the first title in the playback window, set the text properties, then type in something new. And then position it. I'm going to leave the end area untouched. I would also like to swap out the music for something of my own. You notice I can just turn off the background music if I wanted to. But let's add something of my own. I'm going to completely turn off any of the audio in my video by moving this slider all the way to the music side. I could have left it somewhere in between if I desired. Now click Next. And look, we're already at the place where we choose what type of file we'd like to create. If you want to create a file for a computer playback, you would click the Create Video File drop-down. Notice the multitude of choices that Video Studio Pro X2 provides. In this case, though, let's see what the process is to burn a DVD. For this, I'll click Create Disk, and since my content is HD, let's shoot for the moon and choose Blu-ray. Of course, you'll need a Blu-ray disk burner on your computer in order to accomplish this. I personally don't, but we can still go through the motions. Now notice this intermediate area that we've been brought to. Since we chose to burn a DVD, Video Studio thinks you might want to add a title window and chapters. Let's do that. I'm first going to select Add Edit Chapters. And then to make my life easier, I'm going to select Auto Add Chapters and insert scenes as chapters. You'll notice we have a lot of other choices to choose from as well. So each red line laid down here represents both a scene and a chapter break in my movie. Now I'll click OK and then I'll click Next. Now we're at the DVD gallery window. Here we can choose an animated, editable title and chapter graphics. Let's see what's involved here. 
I'm going to choose HD basic number two and then proceed to edit the graphics by either clicking on them and repositioning them or double clicking on them to edit them. Now I've done that, I'll click Next. And finally, we're at the DVD burning screen. You simply load a blank disk in the computer, label it, tell it how many copies you would like, and click Burn. Now the longest time will be to render the content for the DVD itself. So be patient, this could actually take several hours. But once the first disk is made, additional ones will only take a few minutes. Thanks again. And we'll see you again in our next lesson.